Hello guys, Aaron here, so in this video, I will talk about the Dibehi alphabet. So if you don't know, the Dibehi alphabet is a writing system used to write the Dibehi language spoken as an official language in the Maldives. So, what type of writing system is this Islander script? Well, the Dibehi alphabet called Tana in the language is an abjad which is a type of writing system that there are only consonants and you have to figure out the vowels of the word by the context. The major objects used today are, are the Arabic and Hebrew objects, but the Tana alphabet actually uses diacritics to indicate vowels, while Arabic does not officially use them. The Dibehi language is also very close to Sinhalese, spoken in nearby Sri Lanka. The Tana script has 25 consonants and 10 vowels, a pair of long and short vowels. But first, let's learn the consonants. I will include mnemonics to remember the consonants. The first letter is HA, which makes the H sound as in HOT. And it looks like a highway. The next one is SHABIANI, which makes a retroflex S sound, which is pronounced at the top of the mouth rather than at the teeth. Sha. Like a sha. And it looks like a shooting star. Nunu, which makes the N sound like in no, but it is pronounced with the teeth. It also looks like a spoon. The next one is ra, which makes a rolled R sound, which is only a tap. Like the voice of velar tap or flap, which it occurs in American English in words like rattle and little. And it looks like a bird's hand. Next one is ba, which makes a B sound like in B, and it actually looks like a B. The next one is labiani, which is a retroflex L sound like shabiani, and it looks like a long Y. The next one is kafu, which makes the K sound as in like, and it looks like an upside down K, but without the vertical line on the on the left side of the letter. The next one is Alifu, which is interesting because if it is independent, it makes no sound, but if you combine it with a diacritic, it makes a single vowel sound. And it looks like some arms. The next one is Vavu, which makes the V sound or the W sound. However, the V is like a voice labial dental approximant, i.e. the bottom lip and the upper teeth don't exactly touch, like Va, a va. And it looks like a living whale. The next one is Mimo, which makes an M sound as in tomato, and it looks like a mouth. Next is Fafu, which makes the F sound as in father, and it looks like a fun slide. Next is Dalu, which makes the D sound like in dog, and it looks like a rotated D. Next is Talu which makes the T sound like in time, and it looks like a rattle toy. The next one is Lamu, which makes the L sound like in land, and it looks like a lightning bolt. The next one is Gafu, which makes the G sound as in group, and it looks like a lowercase g. Yep, there's some similarities to Latin letters. The next one is Nyabiani, which makes the voice palatal nasal as in onion, and it looks like an onion. The next one is sino, which makes the S sound as in sand, and it looks like a sword. The next one is dabiani, which makes a retroflex D sound like labiani and shabiani, and it looks like a damn bridge. The next one is zabiani, which makes the Z sound as in zone, and it looks like a zany horse. The next one is Tabiani, which makes a retroflex T sound like a few letters in the Dibahi alphabet, and it looks like a butterfly. The next one is Ya, which makes the Y sound as in U, and it looks like a pig saying Yoink. The next one is Papiani, which makes the P a P sound as in map, and it looks like a fafu but with a new piece. The next one is Jabiani which makes uh, the J sound J and it looks like a pimple jutting out of the skin and the final person is 
Chabiani, which makes the CH ch sound as in check, and it looks like a CH. So those are all the consonants. Keep in mind that there are vowel marks which are placed on the top or at the bottom of a letter to show that a vowel comes after a consonant. I will be using alifu as a base for the vowels since it makes no sound, as I said before. If you add a horizontal slash at the top of a letter, it has any sound. But if you stack two of those lines on top of a letter, it has a long vowel. Ah! If you put a horizontal slash at the bottom of a letter, it has an I sound. But if you stack two of those slashes, it has a long vowel E, like in sleep. If you add a C at the top of the letter, it adds an O sound, a new. But if you put two of those C's side by side, that's a long vowel O, like in noodle. If you reverse the O mark, it adds an E sound after it. E. But if you put two of those marks side by side, it's a long vowel E. If you add an X at the top of the letter, it adds an O sound after it. But if you put a clip like mark on, at the top of the letter, it adds a long vowel O. If you add a circle on top of a letter, it adds no vowel. But if you add that circle on top of alifu, it makes a glottal stop. Here is the Divehi phonemic chart, which is an international phonetic alphabet chart with only the sounds in Divehi. There are some extra letters to write Arabic long words. There are like some letters but with dots around them on the top or at the bottom. So that was the Dibehi alphabet. Hope this was helpful. Danny. That's the end of the video. Also subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss any videos. Also share this video to your friends so you can see it and they will subscribe to me.